Greetings, we are from Apex Surgeon Group and we are here to talk about attacking style in badminton is more effective for players to win matches. Let's visit the members now. First, let me introduce myself. I am Sashiva Masaranan as the group leader. Next will be my fellow group members. Akila Binti Patu Rawat, Adrina Zafira Binti Zainuzi, Nur Batrisha Akila Binti Arman, Ahmad Ifat Farid Bin Abdullah, Nur Saida Binti Mat Said, Nur Astira Binti Muhammad Zaid, Muhammad Iman Ayman Bin Muhammad Fauzi, and finally Azrul Hakim Bin Ahmad Termizi. Now Saida will explain about criteria of the attacking in badminton. Thank you. Hi, I'm Saida. I will talk about the criteria of attacking in badminton. Badminton attacking technique is a normal badminton lock, but with an offensive purpose towards the opponent. Attacking approach will have the shuttle to fly lower than the defensive approach from the players. There are five types of attacking style, which are clear shot, drop, drive, smash, and net. First, clear shot is attacking along the sidelines that make it difficult for the opponent to intercept the shot. Second, drop, which happens when the shuttle being hit downwards to the opponent's forecourt by aiming to go just close over the net. Remember, the closer it is to the net, the harder for the opponent to return the shot. Third, drive, which means a flat shot that hits directly and slightly over the net and will be better if aimed towards the opponent as they are unable to shift their body in time because the reflect re reaction will be to avoid the shot instead of return it. Next is smash. It is a shot used when the shuttle is high in the air and it must be angled downwards sharply close to the net. Lastly, net which played from forecourt with flat and downwards shot close to the net, also usually used to end a rally. Hi, I am Akira, so now I'll be explaining about the advantages of attacking style. The first one is we are able to control the opponent's movement as we can push the opponent to the left and right and also to the front and back. Secondly, we can rely on our own shots to win a point because uh, usually in a rally, uh, the defensive player will rely on the opponent's mistake. And the third one is we can end the rally earlier once the opponent is out of position with a smash. Besides, we are able to use skills like a cross court net shot, drops, straight and cross chop as the pleasure is not on us. And last one is we are able to move to the net first and play a tight net shot. I'm going to explain the differences between badminton attacking styles from other game styles. Firstly, for attacking deceptive stroke and defensive, drop shot can be applied. During attacking, drop shot is usually the first step before a smash shot and shuttle cock is placed close to the net. For deceptive stroke, drop shots are usually lower and closer to the net while for defensive, drop shots are sharp but not as fast as attacking style. During attacking, smash shot is also applied. Shuttle cock is shot from a very high point and travels down steeply towards the opponent. For defensive stroke, Lopes shot is more angled and deep. Shuttle cock is targeted as close to the baseline as possible. Other than that, in attacking, there is also low clear shot. Shuttlecock is shot from one end of the court towards the other far side of opponent's court. Usually, this shot is played lower so that opponent has lesser time to react. For deceptive stroke and defensive, service shots are applied. For deceptive strokes, high services are made towards baseline then low services while for defensive, services are high and deep onto the back court. Lastly, for attacking style, there is also drive shot. It is a shot that goes just above the net and is very fast. As for deceptive strokes and defensive, net shots are used. For deceptive, net shots are formed from front of the court near to net to the front court of opponent and for defensive game style, net shots are not tricky and very simple. The power in badminton is the measure of speed and ability in overcoming the resistance quickly. The main elements that influence the power in attacking are speed and strength. In badminton, player needs to overcome their body weight in order to move around the court easily, especially during attacking. Therefore, the source of power needs to be properly supplied to give the best performance during attacking, which are grip, wrist, and forearm rotation. Tighten the grip during impact gives extra power during attacking. However, too tight before the impact 
might cause the muscle constantly under tension, which limits the amount of power to the muscle. The fingers should be in comfortable grip so that players can play in a flexible environment. The V grip is practically applied during attacking as this grip is used in forehand clear, forehand smash, forehand net shots, and many other sorts of technique in attacking. Next, during attacking, static wrist provides maximum power flow to the racket. The wrist movement is locked during the point of impact shot in order to transform the power from the rotation into the racket properly. Rotating the wrist limits the source of power by disturbing the speed and momentum in the racket. The last source of power is from the forearm rotation. Using proper forearm rotation enables players to hit with a lot of power and speed. The forearm rotation flow can be analyzed through the kinetic chain of badminton that observe the power channel from the whole body to the movement of forearm in attacking. Starting from the ready to attack position, the right arm and the foot must be at the back. The left arm is also lifted to balance the body. The hip and torso are also rotated as if they are turned forward to give additional power and grip is tightened during the impact. Finally, all the powers from the sources are channeled to the racket during the attack through the forearm rotation and hit, which results in faster acceleration of the racket head. Next, I'll be presenting the attacking style in badminton doubles. This style has been one of the formation in playing doubles despite defensive formation. As in the picture shown, the one on the top setter is the one who force high lifts from opponent by applying pressure at the net area while securing the position. Attacker is commonly someone that is good at smashing as he's going to give powerful shot to penetrate opponent's defenses. Unlike defensive formation, which is the below picture, players with players will stand side by side to retrieve opponent's smash on wider range. Moving on to the tips in playing attacking formation, firstly, avoid exerting too much strength into your underarm swing despite using minimum wrist action to prevent shuttle from flying too far and land outside. Secondly, a follow-through of your swing is necessary to allow the shuttle to fly forward forwards and not upwards. Thirdly, perform shots wisely, especially spots at which your opponent is less likely to intercept it. Next, using clears to create an advantage, for example, attacking clears in most cases, pick slightly higher than opponent's full upwards reach from standing. Causing them to fall from farther out of position until then you can safely decrease the height of your clears because it is not ready to intercept them. For badminton doubles, try to get the shuttle going down on the opponent's side to force a lift thus having a chance to perform a smash. In the beginning, try to stand almost in the middle court and move a little bit around to cover big range at the front court besides helping you to stay in the attacking formation. Never look back at your partner when he's about to hit the shuttle as you risk being hit in the eye and also you won't be watching your opponents to see how they react to the shot as you might get a clue to where the shuttle court is going. Hi guys, so let's continue with a two badminton players with attacking style. I know there's a lot more, this is just the example. First off, we have Lin Dan, the retired Chinese player, a retired legend from China. Who wouldn't know his name, right? His fame is still ongoing up to this very moment as one of the best players to ever play on court. He had won two gold medals in Olympics, five gold medals in World Championship, and any other achievements and gold medals that any other player could ever dream of. His specialty includes speeds, powerful smashes, as well as tricky smashes toward the sidelines of the badminton court. If you can see in the picture right there, he gets up very high, has huge shoulder turn, and is about to hit the shuttle right in front of him. This is where his power and his angle of the smashes come from where he has time to get right behind the shuttle. Next up, we have the uprising Malaysian star Lee Zijia who had left the Malaysians in surprise and goosebumps recently. He won against his idol in 2021 All England Open Badminton Championship. Another achievement of him is the 2019 Southeast Asian Games gold medalist. Being 1.86 meter long, he is considered a tall player in badminton and he admits being tall helps him a lot in smashing and attacking as his strongest weapon. So now for the last part, the conclusion. So in conclusion, there are 5 attacking styles in badminton which is clear shot, drop, drive, smash and net. Secondly, there is more skill of play that is required to play the attacking style properly and to master it completely. In addition to that, between the differences of badminton attacking styles and the other game styles, there will be a difference in speed when comparing the speed the same kind of shots. Furthermore, the way you hold your racket and swing it is important because 
uh, you need to have enough power so that your opponent cannot return it quite easily hence making a score a point and lastly in general players with attacking styles tend to win more like Ninda, Nizija for example hence proving that attacking style is important to win more game as you do not need to rely on your opponent's mistakes and move more on your skills to score points and win games and let's be honest who doesn't love a good smash right <laughs>